Good afternoon, everybody. Hello, laissez le bon ton rouler. Let the good times roll. Yep. This vlog episode, we'll be making our favorite New Orleans drinks. Yes, we're first gonna start out with the hand shaken pina colada from the Carousel Bar in the Monteleone Hotel. That's on Royal, I think it is. Then we're going to do the... Pat O'Brien's. Oh, Pat O'Brien's The Hurricane, mm -hmm. which is really good. And then we're going to do the... Purple Drink. Purple our Drink. number one requested drink from New Orleans. Yep, these are all going to have alcohol in them. Uh, because that's how we drink it in New Orleans. That's but right. these all can be made without alcohol as well. But we're going to put all the alcohol in there. Yes. Okay, you ready? We're ready. So okay. we're going to start off with this pina colada. Again, when you look up pina coladas or when you go to get any pina coladas, they're always frozen. Yeah. So this is like the best handshaken pina colada we found. Right. right. And from our research, we will need some milk, pineapple juice, Cream de coconut and our, I, I guess you can use any kind of white rum, but we're going to use our favorite Malibu coconut rum. Yeah. All right, you ready Let's to go. put this together? Let's do it. He'll okay. put the recipe on the bottom, so yeah. I'll give you the breakdown of how what to make. Yeah, so I do have a shaker here with some ice in it, so let's start out with the booze, right? The booze. So typically it's around well, one shot, okay. right? So it's about two ounces. About two ounces right there. Sure. Huh? Pretty close. A little more doesn't always hurt. Nope. I'm not driving. Yeah. <laughs> Cream the coconut. This is a little bit sweet. So, mm -hmm. you know, depending on how you how sweet you like your pina colada. Mm -hmm. And how coconutty you do. Yes. This is really coconutty as well. So I'll put a couple good squeezes, right? Okay. Right on there. And a splash of pineapple juice. Only a splash. Yeah, you don't because the pineapple juice is so overpowering, you don't mm -hmm. want to turn it into like a pineapple drink. That's it. Okay, wow. That's it. It's almost like an ounce of coconut and an ounce of uh, pineapple juice. Yeah. And your milk. Yes. So yeah. milk, We're using uh, Fair Life. Uh, it's mm -hmm. a dairy free one. Mm -hmm. Not so free. That's okay. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. About that much, you think? Okay. Maybe a little bit more. Again, he'll put the recipe on the bottom. We're yeah. just eyeballing right now. <laughs> okay. Show us your moves, babe. Okay, here we go. Gotta take it good. You can tell the outside gets really cold and frosty. Okay, hey, get our drink glass ready. Here we go. Looking. Perfect white. If you put too much coke, if you put too much pineapple, it turns yellow. Oh yeah. So a perfect white. Let's taste this out. You can see it's nice and frothy, yep. and it looks a I little bit table, thick. Does it taste like the one in New Orleans? Wow, this is really good. It does. It's a dangerous drink because you can't taste the rum. And we put in a lot of rum. Yeah, I would say that this is about a 9.5 out of 10 as far as match to the, the New Orleans one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it's, a, it's a coconutty flavor, but you can hit, you can taste that hint of pineapple in there. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can doctor it up as much as you can. The alcohol, especially because it's Malibu, maybe because it's Malibu, you can't taste it. So it's very, very dangerous. But you know, when one of these alcohols, it sneaks yeah. up on you later. Yeah, this is so, this just is about really it's good. Right about spot on. This is really good. So I think we uh, were successful in cracking that recipe. Yep, we hit it, baby. Okay. That's a good one. Drink number two. Drink number two. Okay, so we're going to put this away and we'll be back with the hurricane. Yes. We are back with drink number two. Number two, this is the Pat O'Brien's Hurricane. So we got this mix from BevMo. Yes. So they sell it just like this. So this whole mix, it, it's non-alcoholic, which is good to know in case you wanna make an non-alcoholic drink, but you want it to the taste of New Orleans. So this is non-alcoholic. The only thing you do 
is you add a quart of cold water to this whole thing. Right. That's all you do. It's yeah. simple, really simple. We happen to have an empty 750 ml bottle, so we use about three quarters of that pack, mm -hmm. fill it to the top, and this is it. Yep. This is the color of it. Mm -hmm. Definitely red. So this is a simple, simple drink, especially because they give you the powdered uh, this already. And so the only thing you have to do is add to this cup. It's it's one. It's half. What is the ratio, baby? Uh, almost half and half. And so it's half and half ratio. So yeah. that's pretty simple. Okay, hold on. We're gonna put the rum in first. Oh, rum in first. What happened to our straw? Oh, I don't know. I think I put it in the wash already. So it's, I believe they called for maybe six ounces of rum. Or six ounces. So we're using Appleton Estate rum, which is a dark rum. Right about there. Alrighty, and then we're going to put a half of this on. Uh, what? What the heck? Let's see if I can pull this out. Fail. I can't pull it out, okay, so a half of this. All the way to the top. Yeah, because it's really strong otherwise. Alrighty. This How are we going to stir it? supposed to be the hurricane. Yes. I don't think they use it. They just pour it in the cup. Don't even stir it or shake it or anything. Really? Really. Okay. Let's try this out. This is the hurricane from Pat O'Brien's. Ooh, it smells like rum. Ooh, that is strong. Let's see. It's not that bad. You definitely taste the rum. The hurricane mix kind of tastes like a cherry tropical kind of juice. Yeah, it does. I think this is pretty spot on. I think it's pretty good. It's because the one good. we tried in New Orleans, I remember, it was strong as well. Oh, yeah. There it is right there. Nice color, too. Mm -hmm. So, again, this really is just like fruit juice. Keep it classy, babe. And not so sweet fruit juice. This is what it tastes like. Again, it's not alcoholic on this side. And so, if you are if you don't like rum, you can always put a little bit more rum in this but this tastes right now just like New Orleans. Yeah. So and half and half. It's not bad. You could always put the rum in here, about half and half, half, and half shake it up, shake leave it, it in the refrigerator, and yeah. get a hurricane anytime you want. Yeah. So this is so, a good one. This is a nice, yeah. easy one. I would rate this so, maybe about a, as far as closeness to the original, yeah. maybe about an eight. Yeah. Out of 10. Because this is not as, I don't remember the original one being sweet, but this one isn't sweet at all. So I think it needs just a little bit more sweetness, but mm. this one's pretty close to it. This is a really good one. Maybe maybe a squirt of uh, simple syrup simple, or something. Or something. Yeah. But this is a good one. So it's I recommend good. it. This Pat O'Brien packet. Now, uh, just to let you know that this uh, Pat O'Brien comes in either in this powdered form or pre mixed liquid, which yeah. all you got to do is it, it's almost like buying it like in this form. You just have to add your rum. Now, the pre mixed liquid, I don't know if it's non alcoholic. I think it is, but I'm not positive. But this one is non alcoholic. It even no, says. No, the, the pre mix is not alcoholic. You have, to, okay. you have to always add your own rum. Okay, so this one even says on the bottom non alcoholic. In case you want the non alcoholic version, this is just water and this pre mix, and you're set. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, the next okay. one is Which the is most popular be, one. Yeah, our third and final, the most popular, number one requested mm -hmm. purple drink, purple drink. voodoo daiquiri. Yeah. From Lucky Lucky Blacksmith. Yep, that's gonna be a good one. Stay tuned. Our third and final yeah. drink. The most requested one is their purple drink. Now, with this purple drink, they have a few recipes online. A few. Uh, a few. So we're gonna make it, especially just tailored to down to one individual drink. And so this is what we figured out. So. Yeah. In fact, uh, the the recipe for this drink was actually uh, interviewed by a person that worked at Lafitte's. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he basically said there's bourbon, a grape juice, and Everclear. The, Everclear, but we don't have any Everclear. Yeah, because we again we didn't buy anything. We, yeah. This is just whatever is in our liquor cabinet. So we're using Belvedere vodka. But in the, a few recipes, we see that there there is vodka. Sure. So you can sure. do Everclear or vodka, but because we have vodka, or red call, not Everclear, we're going to use the vodka. Uh, some people want to know what the difference is. Everclear is a lot stronger. Oh, okay. Way, way stronger okay, as far yeah. as uh, the proof. I don't know the difference. They're just the same yeah. color. So yeah, this is uh, it's 80 proof. 
and every clear, I think it's over a hundred, a hundred and a hundred fifty, something like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, we usually put the liquid in first, but because this is all the ice we have left, yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna, gonna kind of make the ratio mm -hmm. to that. So you just fill up your blender with ice. Yes. We're gonna do one ounce of bourbon. Which yes. is just a cup full. I'm gonna do a cup full or half a cup. Yeah, I, I usually eyeball it, but for this case, we'll use our little shot glass. So one. Wait, half a shot. Half huh? a shot of yeah. bourbon. Just a half a shot. Okay. Uh, a full shot of Belvedere. A full shot? Or do you think we need two? Mm, I'm not sure, baby. What do you think? Yeah, maybe two. Kind of goes me up. <laughs> Look at that laugh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So we have two shots of vodka. vodka. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to pour in some of our grape juice. Yes. So let's put this to the side. Yep. Okay, my legs are still on. Mm -hmm. So we're using Welch's grape juice. And probably that much? That's good. Oh, yep. Okay, that's we it. We definitely want more ice than there is liquid. So that looks like a good one. Okay, so it's not you ready? So oh, you need a cover, baby. You're gonna make a spray. What the heck? Yeah, I would. I would have pulled the earth and say, "What Did the I do heck?" That? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Okay, loud blender. Sorry. Okay. Here Ooh, we go. That looks good. Yeah. I'm gonna pour it in our pint glass. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, that looks really good. It's not as purpley purple. No, it's not. The, so, the purple drink is very, I would say, dark purple. Mm -hmm. right? And you see it's separating because we probably needed more ice, but that's okay. It's still going to give us the flavor that we need. So it's really good. Please. Let's try this out. You can taste the bourbon, which is really good. Oh, wait a minute. We forgot the sugar. We forgot the sugar. We get, it's not as sweet because we forget that grape juice isn't really that sweet. So it needs to be sweeter. Yes. Definitely needs a, the, the a sweetness yeah. to it. Yeah, we had uh, some sugar. Yeah, we just forgot to add the sugar. Yeah. But had we added the sugar, I think it would have been spot on. Oh. <laughs> Don't look at me that, that way. That was spot on. <laughs> it would have been close. Yeah. Uh, I'm just picturing it just a little bit sweeter, but as far as the grape flavor, it's there. It's there. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can taste the bourbon. Uh, you, of course, you can add or subtract any of this stuff that you want, but you can taste the bourbon, even if you only used a half a shot of bourbon. Very slight. Yeah, very you slight. You cannot taste the vodka. And, and there's yeah. like an Everclear as well. I know you can't taste the Everclear, but you can feel it later. But you can't really taste it yeah. as much. Very, very true. Yeah. Oh, that's good right there. Yep, that's a good one. So, how do you like the purple drink, Pit? Um, is that as purpley as we were hoping? No, no, the, the color is a little bit uh, light for mm -hmm. it. But had we added the sugar, I, I would say it's probably around a 7.5. Mm, we're just missing Noah. What do you think? I think so 7. too. 7.5 Yeah, 7.5. We tried, but I think we needed the sugar. Yeah. But it, otherwise, it's very drinkable. Yeah, but it needs a little bit more sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have time for one bonus. One bonus one. One bonus? Oh, this is a crazy one. Yeah, yeah. this says nothing to do with Nola. Nothing at all. But we figure, hey. But we've seen, we've seen this before. A while ago on YouTube, yeah, right? yeah, and so it just looks like fun. And so this is the way when if we meet any of you guys and we go out for a drink, this is the way we expect to drink with you guys. Okay, <laughs> okay, that, baby? okay. Let's let's get it set up. Yeah, we'll set it up. Bonus material. Yeah. Bonus. Yes. Yeah. So this is fun. So if you've looked around videos, how to do a <sighs> Russian shot, this is what you'll pull up. And the the shot was like she actually done in like Russia. But it was like so much fun. We had to do it for yeah, you guys. It's customary, so, so we're going we're gonna to replicate it. We're going to replicate it. We need some dark rye bread uh -huh. or Russian bread. 
um, of course, Russian vodka. We're using what, Russian standard? Mm -hmm. And we didn't have this in our pantry, so we had to actually go buy this one. Sure, but it was miniatures. It's okay. Yeah. And we need some uh, good pickles. Yeah, it sounds weird though, but yeah. this is how you do it. Okay, we're going to yeah. first pour our shots in. Oh, we had these inside the freezer too, by yeah, the way. Yeah, so they're kind of cold. Okay. Okay. I'm doing less than him. <laughs> <What? laughs> All righty. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Um, you blow, you, you exhale. exhale all the air out because you're going to take the shot in. Okay, so that's what we're going to first do. And then after you do the shot, then you smell the bread because the bread is supposed to, to enhance the vodka flavor of your shot. Then after you smell the bread, you're supposed to take a bite of the pickle to end the whole thing. So if we're drinking with you guys, this is what we want to do. So here we go. Okay. And get, what, what is theirs? Uh, what is their it, call? It's Nostrovia. Oh, Nostrovia. Go ahead and get your bread okay. ready. Got my bread ready. Here you we ready? go. Exhale. Uh, wait a minute. Wait. Oh. Nostrovia. Uh, Nostrovia. Not bad. That's really good. <laughs> Actually, you can really taste the the flavors of the vodka, which is really good. So again, we exhaled all the air out of us. We took our shot. We smelled the bread to take all of that nice vodka or the flavors and the tones of the vodka in, and we. Uh, ended it mm. with that pickle. So that's how we drink, guys. So if you're up to it, when we see you and we go have a drink, here it is. Crazy. That's it, baby. That thanks. was fun. Yeah, thanks so much for watching our uh, kooky New Orleans <laughs> drinks. <laughs> One of them was clearly a winner, which was a shaken pina colada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other two need a little bit of work. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, the, but the winner, Russian shot. Can't go wrong with that. Can't, <coughs> can't go wrong with the Russian shot. Oh, I even have my fan on now. Okay, babe. Okay. We're done, baby. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.